Meet Winston Smith. Winston is a 39-year-old man living in a world where everything is controlled by the government. This government is called the party. The party uses things called telescreens to monitor what people are saying about them. If someone says something that the party disagrees with, they will be erased from history. We are now viewing the Two Minutes Hate, a meeting that occurs once every week for people to gather to hate Emmanuel Goldstein, an enemy of the party. <laughs> He's the worst. What have you done? This guy sucks. <laughs> Save <Same> Goldstein. <laughs> How can you get away with this? Why have it again? You should be dead. After the note from Julia, Winston confronts her, and they both decide to meet in a secret place where there are no telescreens or microphones. Hey, Winston. Hi, Julia. I'm glad we can meet up. Yeah, it's really nice to talk about how much we hate Big Brother. I know, it's amazing. We sure get a normal place to go to, though, instead of finding one every time. I know a place. It's at an antique shop downtown. Uh, we, should, we could rent it. Sounds good. Okay. At Winston's work, there was a man in the inner party named O'Brien. One day, O'Brien tells Winston to come over to his house to pick up their new dictionary that will soon be required at Winston's workplace. When Winston goes over to O'Brien's house, he brings Julia with him, and during the meeting with O'Brien, it is found out that O'Brien is the rebel of the party. You're part of the rebels? Can we join? Yes, but only if you start to do whatever you, we ask you to do. Of course. Yeah. Very well. If you're going to join the rebels, you need to have this book written by Goldstein, which explains the society of the world. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. When Winston and Julia finally get a break from work, they go to the secret room to read Goldstein's book. However, things don't go as planned. Bye, Goldstein. We are the Thought Police. Remain exactly where you are. Make no movement until you are ordered to stand out in the middle of the room, back to back, with your hands clapped behind your head. After Winston is caught, he is taken to a prison-like place where it is discovered that O'Brien is actually a member of the Thought Police. While in prison, Winston is being tortured every day until the party gets what they want out of him. They want Winston to love Big Brother and give up everything else in his life, but he is having a hard time doing so. However, once rats are introduced to the torture method, Winston gives up what was one true love, Julia. Ah, scary. <laughs> scary. After Winston gives up Julia, the party finally gets what they want of him and let Winston go before he disappears from existence. The book ends with Winston sitting at a bar saying to himself, but it was alright, the struggle was finished, he had won the victory over himself, he loved Big Brother. Michael. Where are we starting with Bill? You're part of the rebels? Can we join? Yes, but only if you swear to do whatever we ask you to do. Of course. Naturally. <laughs> Josh? Yeah. What are you doing? Nothing. Okay. Uh, do I really need to be Julia? Well, when did you film? <laughs>